LGG family. Happy Thursday. Again, we are sliding into Friday. I hope you have some fun plans for the weekend, but let's get into this next story. So there's good news for the Gorilla Glue lady. A LA celebrity plastic surgeon, Dr. Michael Obang, created a solvent to remove the Gorilla Glue from her hair. He offered to do the $12,000 procedure for free. That's really cool. So now she's Gorilla Glue free, and that's awesome. I thought this was a great story for two reasons. The doctor was able to remove remove the glue from her hair without her losing too much hair and not too much damage to her scalp. And secondly, the doctor that invented the solvent, I mean, he's black. So I was like, yay for black excellence and for him stepping up to help the sister out. I thought that was just amazing. I mean, he's done something phenomenal. But it's kind of crazy because when you look him up, you find out more about his personal life in terms of the cheating, the divorces, the hookers, than you do about his accomplishments. So as I was doing a little probing, I found out that um, Michael Obang, Dr. Michael Obang, excuse me, doctor, was actually um, a celebrity plastic surgeon in Beverly Hills and had appeared on a club on a reality tv show called the second wives club so when i was looking at some of the pictures i'm like oh i remember this show i only think it lasted one season or i only watch one season but it was really interesting so let's go get into some tea about his wife or what happened um because there's some there's some scandals about him being a cheater i guess he's a serial cheater but i got this i found this article on um, EarnTheNecklace.com, and it was published around 2017. So here's what they're saying about Dr. Michael Obang. Michael Obang did not learn from his mistakes, but his ex-wife Veronica sure did. When she found out that Obang had cheated on her yet again, she did not hesitate to divorce him. She also aired her troubles on their on the reality TV show, The Second Wives Club, only to see an enraged Obang sue the ne network. Among all the drama, the other woman has remained silent. I guess that's the mistress. The cookie has crumbled. That's right. Dr. Michael Obang's marriage to his third wife, Veronica, is over. But they were on the Second Wives Club. But okay, so she's the third wife on the Second Wives Club. A little confusing, but let's carry on. The reason for this development is none other than Michael Obang's mistress, as alleged by his now ex-wife. Veronica has claimed that their marriage ended because she discovered Michael Obang's girlfriend. She has alleged that her ex-husband broke her trust yet again after repeated warnings. He didn't listen. She already caught him cheating a year ago, but decided to work with him to save their marriage. However, this time, she was in no mood to forgive and carry on as if nothing had happened. He was caught red-handed. How was he caught? Tell us, Veronica. Veronica filed for divorce in July 2016 after finding out about Michael Obang's latest affair. She says that she found out that Michael Obang was cheating on her via a secret Instagram page owned by his mistress. Oh, child. Now, you know that's wrong. This was the last straw. Veronica coolly decided to take the appropriate steps and nail Obang straight on reality TV. Second Wives Club was filming its first season at the time. Veronica discovered discovered her husband's affair, so she decided to make it public knowledge. Well, hell has no fury like a third wife scorn. Okay. Who's that girl? So the question is, who is this woman with whom Veronica Obang's husband cheated on her with? Unfortunately, there's no information on that. But Veronica's very clear that she knows who the, who the mistress is. That's not all. She also says that her husband cheated on her with prostitutes. Oh, Lord. Now, come on. See, I didn't need to know that. Come on now. This man is a world-renowned plastic surgeon because he's won, um, he's won accolades and everything. And now you're saying he cheated on you. Well, I'm assuming they weren't just prostitutes. They were probably high-class high, high call girls or something well hell prostitute is a prostitute a hoe is a hoe i guess i don't know veronica says that she had no idea that things would turn out like this when she signed up for the show however the negativity with obeying started almost immediately with the week after shooting so he did sue um 
the reality show because he said it it kind of ruined their marriage and that um, a lot of the stuff was scripted and it wasn't real. So that's interesting. I mean, okay, let's see. Let me see what else. So Veronica allowed the affair to be aired or at least discussed on the show. And so she just, and so it's saying airing their dirty laundry. So Veronica's response was, I decided to live my truth because so many women don't. And I thought, why did I sign up for a reality TV show and not live my truth? I refuse to be a prisoner to the camera or my situation, says Veronica. Angry that some people are blaming her for Michael Obang's cheating. Why should I be embarrassed? You cheated on me. Why should I be embarrassed that you like hookers? She continued. When asked about what the future holds for her, Veronica explains, life doesn't stop when you find out your man has been unfaithful. That's right, girl. That is one individual exactly. So yeah, ladies, we gotta let that go. One, one monkey don't stop no show. That's what my mom always taught me. So it looks like the good doctor likes to get around town. He's a ladies man. I mean, maybe he can't help it. But anyway, let me know your thoughts. Leave a comment and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.